What's up, pals? It's your boy, Daniel Bandian, with another episode of the Pals TV Experience Podcast. You know, I had a really, really enjoyable discussion last week with James Frank Hara because I really loved, you know, discussing those topics around positivity, you know, positive energy, positive vibes. And I, you know, I just really hope that all of you loved it as well. Once again, in this particular segment, we're going to be discussing topics around positivity. In other words, positivity. Get it? You know, positivity, you know, like spill the tea to you, you know, sipping the tea. Tee-hee. On today's episode of the Pals TV Experience Podcast, I'm going to be featuring my friend Kennedy Roth. I'm super excited for how this thing is going to go because it's like, oh my gosh, this is going to be so like fun because it's like, you know, like I said, once again, every week we're going to be discussing a new topic and we're also going to be featuring a new guest every time. So it's like, you know, I'm so excited for how all this is going to turn out. Before we get started, I just want to let you all know that Kennedy Roth actually has her own podcast series called Tuesday Tea in which they spill all the tea every Tuesday. On that note, let's begin our discussion. Hello, Kennedy. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. You know, I just really want to know, like, how have you been lately? So first off, I just want to say thank you for having me on to your podcast. Um, I've been actually doing pretty good. I'm just kind of hanging in there at home just because of the pandemic. It's a mood. I could relate. I could totally relate. You know, it's such a mood. <laughs> so I guess the first, the second question that I wanted to ask was, you know, are you going to school? How has all of that been going? What are you studying? So I am going to school. I first want to say it has been a roller coaster ride. I actually finished um, SO State, as you know, you were my friend, you were there. Um, I actually finished my bachelor's degree during the pandemic, which was really hard and frustrating. But I have since graduated and I started my master's program at Arizona State online because of the pandemic. (laughs) Um, But I'm getting my master's in psychology. That's really great to hear, you know, that's really great to hear. And I really do wish you the best of luck, you know, on your journey and your like, you know, your academic journey and everything else you have going on in the future. That all sounds great. And I just want to let you you know, keep working hard, girl. You got this. Thank you. You're welcome. I guess the next question that I wanted to ask was, what are your current career goals and aspirations in life? And how are you hoping to reach them? Okay, so this is an interesting question. And to be completely honest, I'm pretty much open to anything life has to offer me. That main career goal and everything else that society has says, you have to have your life figured out when you're 18. That's not true. Um, When I actually graduated high school, I thought I wanted to do marine biology. I get seasick. (laughs) Um, So that would not really work out since you do have to be on the boat. Um, But however, I did know that I wanted to help the world in some way, shape or form, rather it was gonna be with animals or with humans. So therefore I just wanted to help people who were silently struggling all throughout the world. So when it comes to my aspirations in life, I would say it's making sure that everyone knows that they have someone that they could talk to and just making sure that they're never alone. So hopefully with everything going on, I can achieve that. But I guess you can say long story short, I would love to be a psychology professor because I am open to teaching other classes about psychology as well as helping do research on mental health. You know, that is a really good plan that you have. And I really like the path that you're going for, you know? Cause it's like, what I really like the idea that you're going for where it's like you're, you know, juxtaposing whatever you learn in school and you know and mental health so that way you could help you know other individuals who like you know need the support throughout the end so you know i really like that a lot yeah perfect awesome 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 so with that said going on to the topic of positivity would you say that maintaining a positive and strong mindset is important to help you reach your goals I would say yes, because there is a theory out there that says if you do have a positive mindset, positive things would happen. And the same goes when you have a negative mindset, negative things will most likely happen. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I I definitely agree with that one. And that's why, like, you know, 
something that I always do is like, you know, well, I mean, well, actually, okay, like, I generally don't really like talking about myself in general, but it's like, I kind of, I thought I'd just throw it out there as well, like, you know, even in like, you know, the most stressful times, like, the most stressful times of life, like, you know, where you experience like hardships, I still definitely feel like it's important as much as possible to stay positive and to stay strong no matter what. I understand that time it will times will be hard, but it's like I'm always going to like, you know, stick with that mindset. Just be positive. Just always be hopeful and optimistic no matter what. And it'll all be worth it in the end. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Perfect. Continuing on the similar topic, it seems that being able to maintain a positive mindset is a huge struggle, even for myself. Thereby, I wanted to know if you have any advice on how to maintain a positive mindset. All right, that is a good question. So especially in times like these, it's hard since we don't exactly know what the future has to hold, sadly. So the world is unpredictable. Um, And with that, some of us do struggle, myself included, so you are not alone. The best advice I can give you is that it's okay to not have a positive mindset all the time, as that is absolutely very unhealthy. Most of us don't know that. (laughs) Um, So it is important that although the world is unpredictable, you still need to think about the goals that you want to achieve and what you want to do in your life. So for me, that would be most likely my education. As I said, I am going to school for my master's degree. So although a lot of people like to say, but we're in a pandemic, I can't do anything and there is no hope. Okay, so with that statement, it is actually only partly true because during this time, it's actually beneficial to learn more about who you are and ways that you can actually make yourself happy. So therefore the only true part is we're in a pandemic. Um, But when you do learn about yourself and what can make you happy, this could be simple things like playing a video game, exercising, doing art, et cetera, anything. But with the help of that, it can help you start getting into a positive mindset. You know, I must say that is really great advice. That is really great advice. You know, based on what you said, I actually guess I learned something new from this. Like, I never knew that, you know, having a positive mindset like excessively could be unhealthy you know I've never actually known that myself like from my own personal experience but like you know hearing that actually makes a lot of sense so I'm actually pretty glad that you brought that one up but then I also like the lessons that you brought up talking about you know doing whatever makes you happy through like you know fun activities and then you know just it's like you know the process of like learning more about yourself so that was a pretty good those are some pretty good advice and I really got to say thank you so much for sharing that one Mm -hmm. perfect so the next question that I wanted to ask was what would you say is the importance of maintaining positivity how has being positive helped you out in the long run okay so that's a long one (laughs) just like you said in your question So for me, I was actually struggling since before this whole pandemic thing, I was busy 24 seven. I maybe slept maybe four or five hours a night due to the fact I was so busy. I was doing school, I was doing 18 units. I was working almost 30 hours. I was volunteering. I was tutoring people. And it got to the point that I didn't even remember what I even liked to do. So I kind of lost myself. And with losing my job in specific because of the pandemic, sadly, I actually had a lot of time to actually find out who I was. But also with that, I also learned what rejection felt like, and that is okay. (laughs) It's okay to know how it is to be rejected from a job or a person or anything. It's fine, because that just means that it wasn't meant for you. So in that case, all the jobs I applied for and I got denied wasn't meant for me. So just me constantly thinking, it's not right for me, but the right job is going to come, even if it's not psychology related, that is okay. Because there's gotta be a moment that things are just going to fit. So as I'm looking for that job, I've been trying out different hobbies because like I said, I kind of forgot what I liked. (laughs) Um, So I started to knit. Um, I've been knitting a lot of scarves, been watching Grey's Anatomy, 
twice. I'm aware that we're on season 17, but I can't help it. I love Grey's Anatomy. I've been baking and I've been kind of in the mindset of, I want to learn new things to not just help myself, but to help educate people around us. So that's why I'm continuing school. I decided to go back to my community college, get some more degrees and everything, not just for the degree, just to help improve myself. But with that, I know a lot of people won't see school as being a big thing, which is fine. So my biggest advice is sometimes when you're looking for something to be positive, it might be different person for person. Some people like to write stuff down, read everything. For me, I just like to have people around me, do school and learn different things. So, you know, when you shared your personal experiences, you know, like starting off, like, you know, I remember that you mentioned like the struggle to find a job. And I definitely agree. Like right now it is, it's super hard to find a job right now because it's like not only are businesses closing down, but then it's like, it seems like, you know, since more people are like struggling, it's like now it's like the, like the stakes are higher and it's like, we have to like do more and more and more. And yet it's like so many employers are expecting a lot at this time yet because of this pandemic happening and all these places closing, it, it's like really hard to find a job right now. I really do like, you know, your take on, you know, with regards to rejection that there's that we'll have to expect rejection but then at the end of the day, we cannot like give up on the job search and we'll just have to keep, you know, just keep working hard nonetheless. Another thing that I really liked that you brought up were the hobbies that you mentioned. So I really like how you used the free time to just learn more about, you know, what you like in terms of the hobbies. So of course, like, you know, you mentioned in Grey's Anatomy, like, you know, that's a good way to like, you know, keep yourself entertained at home. And on top of that, you know, you also mentioned knitting. <laughs> knitting is a pretty good activity to do. I unfortunately don't know how to knit, but you know, I'd really love to learn how to do that one day. So all I got to say is <laughs> I really like that you are, you know, being able to provide, you know, what you are doing. So that way it could, you know, give other folks, you know, especially our audiences, like an idea of, hmm, what can I do during this pandemic? It's like, you know, just giving them ideas of how to maintain positivity. And I really like that a lot. And just remember with the whole job thing, if you're applying for jobs and you get rejected, it's just not for you. It's fine. The right one will come around. Do you have any um, final takeaways on positivity? Yes, I do. So everyone has different ways of staying positive. So in a way I can say that positivity is going to work different for different people. So for me, as I explained, I express it through art, baking, learning new information, and re-watching my favorite show, Grey's Anatomy. However, someone else might say that it's going to be writing down their feelings, listening to music, or even making their own music with their instruments that they know how to do. I don't just because I don't remember any instruments. <laughs> um, but others could also say it's exercising, having phone calls with people, talking to people. So the takeaway would be find out who you are in case you feel as though you lost yourself. Because with that, you'll be able to start knowing who you are and what you like to help with that mindset. And a quote that I really liked kind of goes like this. I'm like paraphrasing it because I can't remember exactly who said it, but it was a famous philosopher. And they basically just said, uh, crying leads to laughter. So the more tears that you shed, the more laughs and smiles are yet to come. Very beautiful. You know, a super beautiful hearing like your own perspectives on positivity and then like, you know, how they like vary from person to person. That It's definitely something important to keep in mind. So I really, I really like that you brought that up. I think it's oh. a common misconception because everyone thinks if you do A, B, C, D, E, you'll be happy, but that's not the same for you and me. Like you could like something and I could be like, nah, I'm good. Awesome. So now the final topic that I wanted to discuss is your upcoming podcast, Tuesday Tea. Could you speak on it a little bit? In other words, could you spill the tea? <laughs> yes. So here's just a little bit of tea for all you listeners. 
So basically, it's a little group that me and my friends came up with. Uh, Dano knows he is one of the members from the group. It consists of five different people. Uh, we all met at San Francisco State. They were all basically cinema majors. I was the only one outside being like, hey, I'm psychology, but let me in. <laughs> um, so just with this podcast, we just thought during this time, we don't know what's going to happen. So let's all get onto a Zoom call, kind of like this, record it, and let's make people laugh. So even if not all five of us can come in during a week, once again, it's through Zoom, COVID friendly. Um, even if it's only two or three of us, we're just gonna talk every week about something that's going on. Rather it's a music video, a TV show, just anything we're gonna be discussing. So for instance, episode one, we're actually gonna be talking about the pandemic and how it has actually affected us. Um, but also future episodes, like I said, TV shows, movies, hobbies, anything else. But we just wanna have a platform that people can come, listen, have fun. They can goof around, we can goof around, and we're all just gonna be really fun. So check that out if you wanna hear more from us. <laughs> and new episodes will be dropping every Tuesday. Oh my gosh. All I gotta say is, you know, I really can't wait to tune in. It's gonna be like such a fun thing to watch, you know? I am really excited to tune in. All I gotta say is like, you know, Everybody, make sure you tune in, okay? All of you pals, tune in to Tuesday Tea as well. Tune into, you know, the Pals Experience podcast and also check out Kennedy's um, Tuesday Tea podcast as well. So with that being said, I just want to say thank you so much for coming on to the Pals TV Experience podcast. You know, I really appreciated hearing your perspectives on positivity, but not only like, you know, like, helping us to define what it is, but also apply, also like explaining how, like, you know, how positivity applies to you and then, and then potential advice on how, like, we could apply, like, positivity to ourselves and everyone else. So with that being said, I feel like, you know, the audiences who are listening to these stories could, you know, not only find them relatable, but they could potentially be able to learn from these experiences. So, you know, I got to say is like, I really appreciate, you know, hearing your, you know, perspective on positivity. And I really hope that, you know, that they inspire our fellow pals like us, you know, just, you know, spread the love, spread the positivity. All I just want to say is, you know, congratulations on all of your success. And I just want you to know that you're going to make it in the end. You got this, Kennedy. Just want to let you know, wishing you the best of luck. And, in, and on top of that, it's like, I already know you're going to make it. So it's like, I believe in you, girl. You got this. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So all I just want to mention is that if you all want to keep up with Kennedy, make sure that you follow Kennedy on Instagram at Ty underscore Ice T underscore 24. And don't forget to check her out on TikTok, Kennedy Roth. With that said, have a great day, you all, and take care. Bye-bye.